What up, this your boy Roy, y'all know my name, y'all know what I've done. Why in the world would somebody sign up to get in front of me and do what I do? I don't know. You all know what it takes to be me. You know what it takes to be one of the best to ever do what you did. I am one of the best that ever did it. Now you got somebody who thinks because they were tough or in high school or tough in their neighborhood or whatever, who thinks he can put on the gloves and come deal with me? Really? All right. If that's what you want, that's what you'll get. You can find yourself in the room with me live on March 20th, 2016 at yourshow.tv's Your Fight pay-per-view event. All you gotta do is submit a video a recording telling us why you think you deserve this opportunity, and then the fans will decide who out of the group will get to fight Roy Jones Jr. on March 20th. All right, so can you explain to me like how you came across this competition and what made you want to participate in it? Well, uh, I was scrolling online and it popped up, and I was like, it's, oh, Frank Roy Jones, I'll throw my name in there. Not thinking that it actually happened, right? Like, what's the chance of that? And that's uh, because I've always been a boxer fan. When I was younger, I used to box. And then I went away from boxing and started uh, pursuing basketball. So uh, I used basketball to get me to university and all that. So when uh, I seen a challenge, I'm like, oh, put my name in that. Because I would love to fight Roy Jones and I had a chance to. Because I always looked up to him. So uh, I did that and uh, everything fell into place. And I, I see myself uh, top four. And it was time for the voting. And it was like, oh, like, oh okay, it's getting real now. And then uh, when I won the votes, it was like, oh, shit, I'm about to fight Roy. So. And, and me wanting to fight him was just that I'm very competitive, and uh, I believe if I would have uh, took a different uh, road in life, I would have been a, a boxer because it's my first love. So uh, this is my chance to see how good I really am and um, how good I am uh, going to the total road. Did you participate at all, like, in the amateurs, or, like, would you just call yourself yeah, a straight-up fan that, at this point? Yeah, that's a, the that's a thing that people don't understand. Uh, I'm originally from the States, but... Uh, I play ball in Canada, so I, I box in Canada and I box in, in Bay City. So I had about nine amateur fights and I won provincials here. And um, even me being an MMA fighter, my uh, my my strength is my striking, and I'm not just a ordinary uh, MMA fighter who just go you know I mean just sloppy punches. I'm actual. I'm a boxer by nature, like the science and the art of boxing. That's that's what I love. That makes it a lot better hearing that because even from my perception and other fans, they thought that Roy was just going to be getting in there with a random fan, but like it seemed like <laughs> actual fighting experience and they might have a chance. Yeah, and the thing was, and, and that's one thing that uh, fans are confused upon that. Like, I'm still a fan. Like, I, I'm, I'm still a Roy Jones fan, so I'm a fan. I just can fight, right? So I'm still a fan, and I, I think I have a, a better chance at some professional boxers box some because like on paper you may see the MMA record on paper and my record is six and three, but two of the three losses are very, 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 very debatable. Like very debatable. And if, and the, the one I, the losses that I have are very close decision losses where I took no physical damage and I lost because of a a, a wrestler holding me down or or something like that. So all my fights I do the most damage. If I win it's by KO or something like that, and when I lose, it's a close decision, and I make a way there, ready to fight the next day. So, looking on paper at, the, at, at six and three, or, or in an update at five and three, you're like, oh, this guy has no chance, but I've been in there, I've been in the ring with some high-level people, so I believe my nine fights is typically until I have like 100 fights, because the level of fights that I had, and um, the, the level of fighting when I was an amateur. Right. So, like, if, if this fight does go well for you, do you see yourself crossing over and leaving MMA and starting competing in boxing? Uh, I, I thought of that because um, when I do boxing, people actually come and watch and they go, man, this this guy can box. And I always got, uh, man, you should go into boxing, you should go into boxing. I love boxing, but I felt like in boxing, I'm limited. You know what I mean? Uh, um, I'm very athletic, fast, and all that, but in boxing, all I have is my hands. I'm like, okay, MMA, I got my feet, I got my elbows, I got my wrestling, I got my jiu-jitsu. So I, I can kind of pick and choose what I want to use. For boxing, all that stuff really can't really help you. I can be athletic all I want. When I, when I get older and slow down, then what I have, I have to have my basics. And then I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like the next person. Which MMA, I can kind of pick and choose. So the boxing was something I kind of thought about, but I felt like I'd be limited. But if I got the right fights and got the right, uh, the right opponents, then I might, I might cross over. 
I want to ask your opinion on something. It seems that MMA fighters, they're, they're more uh, appealed in mainstream, like their names are bigger. But in boxing, the same boxers, they'll make a lot more than these MMA fighters. They just might not necessarily have the same fame appeal. Is that correct in your opinion? That's true. That's hundred percent. That's a hundred percent correct. And uh, like, see, I'm an MMA fighter, but I, I I'm still, I'm still a uh, boxer by nature, and I'm still unbiased when it comes to the debate or this and that. And I always say, when I was younger, when you was a, everybody wanted to be a boxer. Tough guys, you have to be tough to be a boxer. Nowadays, everybody's a fighter. Everybody's an MMA fighter. Everybody wants to be in the UFC. But back in the day. You had the Mike Tyson and, 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 and Muhammad Ali. Nobody was jumping out of their bed to go be boxers. The like, heck no. But now everybody wants to be an MMA fighter. So it's all it's the, the spotlight on that. But the true grinders and the, and, the, and the true traditional fighters are boxers, in my opinion. The art of fighting, a strike, and it's boxing. Now we're, we're going to a point where guys are doing on all the like strike and MMA. But the true art of this to cuss is boxing. Do you think we'll see more boxers? Because you know, we know Holly Holm, she's crossed over recently and had some success. Do you, and do you think boxers are cut out for MMA? I I, I think we will see a lot of a lot of crossover. But see, the thing with me that I've been blessed with is I I done both, and I know for a fact that like when we have the debate about MMA and boxing, it's, it, it's hard to to debate that because in boxing, some things that work in boxing does so not work in MMA. Some things that work in MMA that's not working in boxing. So you can be a high level boxer with, with great striking, but if you don't know how to adapt to MMA, you can lose all on one guy because if you're, if you're having a, 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 on your lead leg, a guy's going to shoot you on your butt. You know what I mean? So when you go, when you go mix transition from boxing to MMA, you got to know how to you got to know how to change it up. So you might not look like a traditional boxer anymore, and that's why some MMA fighters look like they can't punch or they look like. How much a boxer because you can't fight like a traditional boxer anyway. Right. I want to ask you about Roy. We all we um, we both know that he's one of the best fighters of all time, hands down. But a lot of people feel that he's continued fighting on for about ten years since he probably should have been retired. And like his his recent fight that scared a lot of people. So like, what do you think about him still competing deep into his forties, way past his prime? Me as a fan, uh, I I think he shouldn't. But me as an athlete, uh, competitor myself, I know it's hard to let go. When you, when you, all you know is something, you can't let it go. It's, it's always the athlete that's the last to, to know when it's time to go. So as a fan, I think you should. As a competitor, uh, continue because this opportunity for me, if Roy will stop fighting right now or yesterday, I will not be in a particular moment I'm in right now. Right. So I will all this to him. Like me, me going there and say I beat him, that's no respect to him. That's not making him less than a champ, less than a man. He's still one of my favorite boxers of all time, and I still will respect him as that. But um, me going in and beat him doesn't change that, and I will still look up, look at him the same. And after this fight, I think he should step away um, and, and, and work on other things. I remember he was into music. I don't know if he's still into that. He had some pretty good songs, so maybe step back and do his music thing or coach, something like that. But... As a fan, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to see him getting hurt. I don't. I don't, don't want to. I don't want to see his, his legacy um, being tarnished because he keeps fighting after. Because the guys that he has lost to, he would have destroyed them in his prime. Exactly. Yeah. And even a guy, even a guy like me going and beating him, the, the world would say, "Oh, he sucks. He lost his no name guy." But to me, I'm like, no, I'm actually pretty talented. But you know what I mean? I don't want his legacy being being tarnished because of um because of his uh. Competitive. Right. Earlier on, you told me that you're a boxing fan and you grew up watching it a lot. Can you tell me some of the fighters that you watch or maybe still watch now or that even inspired inspired your style? Yeah, I, I, I still watch... Uh, I like old fighters. I, I still watch uh, Muhammad Ali. Um, I like uh, Lennox Lewis. I like Bernard. Uh, Mayweather Sr. Obviously Tyson. Uh, I, I, I just always love the art of fighting, the art of boxing. I just always love to fight. I'm, I'm, uh, by nature, I, I, just, I just love that, that, that sport. Like, yes, I'm a maid, but, man, I'm, my heart is boxing. Like, I know a lot about it. I know a lot about the, uh, yeah. 
Now, in terms of, uh, I read somewhere that, like, if you win, you're going to win $100,000. Is, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So, like, even if you lose, do, will you still get something, or is it just, like, that's it? I don't even know. I, it, it's win, win, it's like, uh, a win or all, or get, or get nothing. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, and, and, the, and the thing about competition is, uh, like, it's a grind right now. Like, like I, I would train all day long, and... And I'm afraid we don't make that much money, so I'm grinding. So the money means a lot to me and my family, but I think that just the opportunity and to get my name out there, my story out there, my face out there, that's the big picture because I'm 100% sure when people see me and they see me fight, regardless of the outcome, they're going to they're gonna have a new respect for me, period. And that's going to that's gonna help me in the future. And I'm hoping that uh, after the fight, um, me and Roy Jones go have a coffee or water and just uh, pick each other's brains. And maybe he'll be impressed, maybe not. And uh, hopefully we can uh, go from there. What do you think about the rest of the card? I've never seen a card like this that has that that can appeal to so many different fan bases. You know, I'm not really into MMA, but I know who Chell Sonnen is. And then you have two um, pro wrestling legends and Rey Mysterio and Kurt Angle on the card as well. What do you think about this? And do you think we'll be able to see more cards like this in the future? I, I know, I know. To the naked eye, it looks like a a, a freak show, but I think it's a clever idea to have this one because you can, if you're wrestling fans like WWE or w, uh, WWF, man, you're gonna you're gonna want to go see that part of, of the card. If you're a MMA fan, you're gonna want to go see. Oh, I'm gonna go see Tank or whoever's fighting. Or uh, if you're a boxing fan, you're gonna go see the boxing part. So it, it gets you different different groups of people to go see it instead of having all MMA fans or all boxing fans, all wrestling fans. So I think it's kind of clever. It depends how they run it. It depends how smooth it goes. It depends how entertainment it is. And if it's, if it's good, I think it could be something that can be done again. But if it's, you know I mean, shitty, then it, it, it'll be a freak show. Right. Yeah, I'm very interested in looking to see how, how it goes and ho- hoping that they can pull it off. And in closing, I just wanted to ask you, how do you see the fight playing out? And can you give me a prediction? I I I can see uh I can see the fight plan, plan out as uh you saying two Roy Jones Jr. That's that's all I can say. I can see you can you can see like a like a mirror match. So you're saying that you're gonna be doing a like a Roy Jones style in the fight, like with your hands down and you know. Moving uh, like- I'm I'm saying that uh like I said, you were my one of my idols growing up, and uh my boxing style is ninety percent his. So, does it say that, uh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking the same thing. And that's going to make an interesting fight. Well, all right, man. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate you for your time. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, um, can't wait. Can't wait.